Hey guys, how's it going? So today, I've been getting requests to do a video on an AK-47 cleaning procedure. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to disassemble this and what the proper cleaning procedure is. So with that, let's get this thing disassembled. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is take off the dust cover. To do that, you push down this button and then lift the back end of it just pop right off. So we'll set that aside for later. And then take out this spring right here by just pushing forward and then just pulling it right out just like that. And next we'll get out the charging handle and the bolt carrier group. So to do that you just pull the charging handle back until you get to about there. And then you just lift up. And then now, the only part you have left to get off is the gas block. Now to do that, this lever needs to be pushed up. And then this will come off like that. And a lot of the times, that will be really stiff. <clears throat> so you won't usually be able to do it by hand. Just take that up to release, and then you want to make sure when this moves, see how that comes in and obstructs that from pulling out? You want to make this flush right like that, and then it'll pop off unobstructed, just like that. And so now we've got the rifle as disassembled as it needs to be to clean it. One thing you're going to want to look into getting is an AK-47 cleaning kit like this. It'll have all the right size brushes, rods, bore snake, everything you'll need. I picked this up on Amazon for about, it was a little under $20. I believe the brand was Ryseek. You don't have to get name brand stuff to get quality cleaning tools, and this is a fine example. Okay, so let's start cleaning this thing. I'll just give it a little spray down real quick. I'm just using Hops Gun Cleaner. So now when cleaning this, the one place you don't want to get oil is in where the gas block goes, in there and then the gas block itself. You want to keep that completely dry. Don't use any oil or lubrication on that. I'm just going to kind of clean around with the brush. Just get all the oil broken free. And it cakes up pretty bad in these AKs. They produce a lot of residue, a lot of gunpowder. Pull the trigger down so I can get this a little easier. Now, I, when I clean, instead of using the little cloths to clean the gunk off, I just use old socks, because those little cloths, they get dirty so easy, so quick, it's just, you'd be swapping them out every 30 seconds, at least that's how it worked for me. And one common misconception about the AK-47 is, it's a rifle that you never have to clean, now that may somewhat be true as far as the operation of the rifle, but over a long period of time, the quality of and the accuracy would definitely suffer from not cleaning it. So, and that's how it goes pretty much with any firearm. So you, it's not something you want to not do. I would clean it at least every two or three times you take it shooting. At least that's what I do. So I'm just kind of getting all the gunk out. We got the trigger housing all cleaned up. I got the outside cosmetic features cleaned up. And to do this I basically just use a combination of this rag, some of this Hops gun cleaner spray oil, Q-tips, this brush, and a couple of these little cloths in hard to get places. So now let's move on to 
gas tube. And like I said before, this part and this in here are the only two spots on the rifle that you don't want to clean with the wheel. So let's go ahead and clean this. And to do that, we are going to use a special brush just for the gas block, which is this brush right here, which I believe you can use a 12 gauge shotgun brush also. And this is by far the dirtiest part of the rifle. It gets dirty no matter what you do, so you don't really have to spend that much time cleaning it. Just kind of loosen up all the particles. You see all that flat? Yeah. <laughs> see, that's pretty bad. A cloud just came out. Yeah, I don't want to breathe that stuff in. But see, that's just, that's just how bad it is. There's really not much you can do to avoid it. So you just kind of run the bush through there a few times, back and forth, get those particles loose. And that's probably good, right there. Now I'll just kind of wipe this down a little bit, outside. this off the ring right there and that's about it for the gas block pretty straightforward and easy while we're on that I guess we should probably get that little part right there too so we'll run this brush in there all right so we are done with the gas blocks okay so here's the bulk carrier group now I'm going to go ahead and take this out, by doing that you spin it and you just pull it out. And I'm going to go ahead and make a part 2 video on cleaning this because taking out the firing pin and the ejector is tricky and time consuming and you need a special punch which I got and I actually finished filming that second part to this video already. So we're going to go ahead and put that aside and that will be in video number 2. Now we're just going to focus on the actual bolt, bolt carrier itself, which is very easy to clean. Pretty much self-explanatory, but you just go ahead and give it some oil here and there. And all the spots that you'd think it would need it. We'll start out with this lower area right here. I'm just going to go ahead and get all that with the brush. Get that in there. And then on this brush, this smaller piece will fit in this section here. So I can go ahead and get that in there. And get that really good. Get all the grime out. And anywhere where it's going to slide, basically, like right in here, where the bolt slides back and forth. And then after you do that, you just kind of want to clean it off. And you're also, you can get this inside area where the spring goes. You can get that with a brush, which I will do at the end and show you my technique of getting that. But we'll just kind of get these nooks and crannies a little more first. Okay. Should be enough oil for this. Okay, now look at this section, getting those little grooves on the end. Okay, we are almost done with this part. This is probably one of the easier parts to clean the rifle.
and then the rest is up here and the charging handle. Okay, so for this section here and that long section there, I went ahead and I grabbed a 30 caliber wire brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and run that through there, knock loose any debris, give it a good cleaning. And then as well as this section here, you can see. All right, so now go ahead and switch the brush with the loop attachment, the rag. Go ahead and clean and get rid of any excess lubrication. Okay, so, so now I'll run that dry rag through that section there and get all the excess oil and dirt and grime out of there residue. Now this section doesn't have to be completely dry either, so it's not a big deal. In fact, it's probably not bad for it to have a little bit of lubrication left over, so we'll go ahead and call that good. And so now we're just going to go ahead and wipe down and dry off and get the rest of the excess grit and grime off of here using what I like to use, a sock. Kind of get all the larger surface area spots first and then continue on with the Q-tip. Something a little easier to get into the smaller spots with. fingernail with the sock to push into those notches and then spin it around. Okay, that for the most part is good. Now we'll just hit the smaller spots with the q-tip and then we are done cleaning the bolt carrier. And then when you're done and you're satisfied, you can either leave a little excess oil in there, or you can lightly lubricate it once you're done getting up all the excess dirty oil out of here. Alright, and that is a clean bolt carrier. So, now let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the rifle. And like I said, the firing pin assembly and the ejector, I will cover that in a second video. Part 2 to this cleaning video. Okay, so before we clean the actual barrel itself, we're going to need to clean the little bore chamber right there below where we cleaned already right there or actually no we didn't clean there already we can get that also so to do that use this special bore chamber brush and just get it lubricated a little bit and then we just kind of go in like that 
good. And then just kind of in and out like that. And just kind of spin a little bit. Clean up all that gunk, loosen it up. And that's probably good right there. And then we'll also get this upper area too. Let's get that real quick. Okay, down there, like I showed before. And that's good. Now we're gonna wanna dry all that out. Kind of get the outside of the sock real quick. Dry it all out up here. Down there is not as important because we're still gonna clean the barrel. So screw that on. Get that out of the way. And then just Clean that thing out. Like that. And then down here a little bit too. Just in that area. Alright. And then another thing we can use this for is the gas block too. Run that through the gas block once, make sure it's nice and dry. And it kind of gets all those particles out too. All right. So now back to the barrel. And then now a lot of people don't know this. When you clean a barrel, you want to pull the brush from down there up that way, just like the bullet traveling out of the barrel. So that way it doesn't mess up the rifling at all. So first thing we do is we're going to feed the rod from the top of the barrel, like that, down into the chamber, and then we're going to attach that to there. There we go. Okay, so now we're ready to pull that through, but first I'm going to hit it with a little bit of oil, so we'll just spray that down, and now we're going to pull it from there letting it spin through the rifling as it goes. And that's the correct way to do it, from there up, not down in like that. That'll slowly mess up the rifling and decrease the accuracy of the barrel. And doing it this way greatly increases the life of the barrel. Okay, so we're going to take this off and run it through one more time. So just like I before, push it down through. Be careful not to scratch the inside. And then you're going to want to thread that on. And then we'll just hit it with the oil one more time. Okay. Now pull it through. Spinning as we go. And there we go. You see all that powder come out? That barrel was not clean, that's for sure. So now that we've run the brass brush through, we can run through one of these cloth brushes. We'll try this one. And if it's too big, I'll switch to this one because that kit didn't come with one of these for the barrel. They use a little cloth with the loops, but I like to use this and then a little cloth with the loop. But I find it gets it a lot more clean. Okay, so now we got that on there. So let's go ahead and pull that through. Which that might be too big. No, that's okay. Alright. Oh yeah, got a bunch of it out. Okay. So now we'll thread that on. And pull it through. Go 
back and forth once or twice. And look at that. Got all of that out of there. Which wasn't incredibly dirty. So we'll do it one more time. And then we are done with the barrel. Okay, so now that we got everything cleaned, lubed up, we're ready to put the gun back together. We need to put the gas block back on. So to do that, just reverse of what we did to take it off. And remember this notch right here, how it needs to be flush. It'll give you a better look at it. See, it needs to be flush like that for it to lock into place. Got that flush. We're gonna put that in just like that. Double check that it's flush and then pop it into place. And then now we just pull a lever all the way down until it hits that notch right there to lock it into place. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now we're ready to put the bolt carrier group back in. So we're gonna slide this in. We're gonna spin it all the way till it stops. Get that flush right there. And then we're gonna hold it in place. Push this in. Keeping that flush. Push down. And then forward. And now we're in. So the next is the spring. We just push that in. Push it past those notches and then let it go back into place. Then the dust cover, so you want to kind of get the front part in first like that. While pushing on that. And push down and then it snaps right into place. And there you go. You've got it cleaned, lubricated and reassembled Riley Defense RAK-47 Classic. In my opinion, it's one of the easier rifles to disassemble and put back together compared to like AR-15, so it shouldn't be too hard of a time for you. So hopefully this video helps. Alright, so there we have it. There's a fully disassembled, cleaned, and reassembled AK-47. Hope this video helped you guys out. Don't forget to go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thanks again for watching and supporting my channel. And have a good rest of your weekend. Thanks.